Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV. I'm back from another trip to Hong Kong. I visited with some toy companies, took lots of pictures, and as always, I bring back samples for you to see. Let me show you here, 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 look. This is where I bring them in, this big duffel bag. I stuff it full of the toys from Hong Kong, and I got a big suitcase half full of toys. If you guys like Beyblades especially, or Ben 10, you better watch. I got some cool stuff to show you. Let's have a look. Okay, let's get the big stuff out of the way first, okay? Now, I kind of went crazy on helmets because especially, I know in the next year, I'm gonna be testing a lot of aircraft and spacecraft here at the lab, and you need helmets to do that. You, you don't wanna mess around. You gotta have a helmet when you're in an aircraft, spacecraft, or a high performance vehicle. So I got a bunch of helmets. And I'm so happy you got helmets back now because you know the, the Hasbro discontinued helmets for a couple years. All right, first I got this Imperial Stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, I know it came out last year, but since I was going crazy for helmets, I got this. It's got some speakers inside. Yeah, and then but the the treasure was the Poe Dameron Star Wars Black Series helmet. I told a guy online, one of my followers, I said, I hope to find a helmet in Hong Kong. He says. You might, the Poe Dameron helmet might be coming out. And yeah, it was a Toys R Us, so I picked one up. So I get one of these for my son as well. He's 14, he might like it. It also has Bluetooth speakers. That's gonna be great. And also in that light, I don't wanna be Poe Dameron all the time. So I found this, I was really happy to find this. That's a really nice looking, it's for cosplay. It's not a authentic helmet, but it looks like one pretty much. I'm gonna get ready to start because I'm not a commie, but it's got flip down visors. What would make this not, it's not like an American style authentic helmet is, usually uh, American pilots have a place to clip on uh, your oxygen mask. It doesn't have that and it doesn't have a microphone. So, but I could probably work something out for that. And finally, also new, I mean, this just came out as well, the uh, Legend series Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord helmet, electronic helmet, also has Bluetooth speakers inside. All, all these were very expensive. I'm gonna review all of them. And by the way, you can vote for what you want me to do first. -ish. All right, let's look at some other stuff. Hong Kong has a lot of airsoft stores, shops. Uh, they sell like, gear for airsoft and accessories. And so I picked up some like, equipment like I was talking about with the helmet. I need a microphone. So I might be able to get this to, to fit. And uh, they, I got this cool uh, throat mic that you see the SEAL team guys, the, com the Special Forces guys using. It's a throat mic. They started using these first in World War II, actually. And uh, then I got this battle phone. If you were in the Army, you've seen these. Or even the Navy uses these sometimes. Battle phone. It's for the POTS, plain old telephone system. Very very fun kind of thing to use. So we'll, we'll put this to use here. Yeah, so recently I've been collecting uh, a lot of base material for, for figures, and I, got, I picked up these. They're from Bandai. This is called White Base Catapult Deck. It's made for Gundams, but I think I can put Iron Man or other guys on that. White Base Catapult Deck, and I got this White Base Hanger Deck, also for Gundam. I'm sorry the box is a little beat up because, well, you saw how I transport them. I'm not very careful. This is new, pretty new this year anyway, Make a Tape. Have you seen these in local stores? Make a Tape by Zero Toys. I went in to visit Zero and they, we did a demo and then I was, wow, I found these at Toys R Us. This is flexible stuff. You can cut it, you can put it on your wall, you can put it on your hat and it fits with Lego pieces. I've got some ideas how to use this. I've got some ideas. While I'm thinking about Lego, I got this uh, Star Wars uh, Lego set uh, what does it say? Uh, it's the uh, A-Wing Starfighter. I'm going to give this to my son. It's for his Christmas. And you're thinking, well, you're thinking, I should have got him a bigger set. But you know, there's an add-on. And also, I'm going to get him, don't tell him, I'm going to get him like a tablet for Christmas. So, but you don't want to just give a child, a, you know, here's your computer, there's your Christmas present, even if it is expensive. So I, I had to get him something, right? So I got him this. But also, it's an add-on. Because I bought that in, at Toys R Us Hong Kong, they gave me this exclusive limited edition thing. It's got, a, uh, it's got some limited edition figures. If I shopped every week in the month of October, I could get four different, but I didn't. But <laughs> And then she has a fold out little house where they can play, a little play set. Yeah, that's cute. Huh? Free, totally free, because I bought that set. Isn't that nice? 
Okay, check these out. Now, these are not Christmas lights. Well, these sort of are. No, not, they're not really. These are small LED lights and actually powered by USB. And this one, these two uh, are Lego blocks that LEDs have been applied to, see? This is a, LED, this is a, a Lego piece, just like this one, really, only it's red, see? And uh, that will go into the Legos. So you can get these in a few shops. If you see my reports on uh, Hong Kong, I'll sh I can show you where you can buy these. How do you put this in? Like, oh, like this, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, see? I have some ideas of what to do with these. Uh, I'm gonna keep it secret, but I, for instance, I might use them in my little uh, hanger base things. There's like emergency lights and stuff. See, so put them inside here. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah, thanks. Okay, at one of those Airsoft stores, I found this device. You know, I do have a uh, top secret toy testing lab, and this is a new piece of equipment to use. This is gonna up my game with Nerf reviews. What this is, it's called a chronograph. Yeah, it's a con it's designed, it measures the velocity of projectiles, bullets. It measures, turn on, turn on. Can you see it? It's a, all right, anyway, you shoot through there and it tells you how fast the Nerf is going and it's a larger size, so I can shoot, I can shoot uh, the mega darts. And it tells you rate of fire and the velocity. So that's going to be a game changer for uh, my Nerf reviews. Yeah. Cool. And, okay, and while I'm here, from Hot Toys, the new, for the new Star Wars movie, this is the Cost Babies. Cost Babies are very similar to... Uh, I forget right now, but it's Ray and BB-8. Cos baby, Ray wearing a Star Wars, a Rebel fighter helmet. You know, and this was sold out at Toys R Us. I went and I jumped on a train. I mean, the day that I'm supposed to leave, I jump on a train down to their secret base. It's a store, okay? And I found this. I'm going to talk about this, of course, and then I'm going to give it to Alex, my son. And did I say I got some Beyblades? I got some Beyblades. B85 Killer Decyther God Layer System. B86 God Layer Legend Spriggan. B89 Blast Genius. <laughs> this is a uh, Battle Booster Set. B90 God Layer System with three bays. And uh, Siege Excalibur B92. And this is, wow, this surprised me. I didn't expect this. Digital Sword Launcher Blue B93. There's a red version as well. Also, I got a, uh, we saw this at the June Toy Fair in, in Tokyo. The Knuckle Grip B83. Uh, I found this red, it's called a Bay Launcher LR. Does that mean it, it goes either way? Oh, I see right written on here. So maybe it does go either left or right hand spin. Interesting. And then um, a uh, Sword Launcher Blue, it's a little bit, it's a, it says B70, so that's been out for a while. And a uh, trigger launch, trigger, power trigger, B72. And because I bought all that Beyblade stuff from Toys R Us, this is not a, a fake. This is a special promo Beyblade that was part of a deal. So we're gonna open that up. And these are not fake Beyblades, they're just copies of Beyblades, okay? It's some kind of Chinese company. So I thought I'd get these just to see how they work, show you what is out there. And then, but these are, Authentic ripoff, <laughs> authentically copy ripoff Beyblades, Beyblade VS battle set. I especially got this because it's it's the first of the Beyblade burst that I've seen as copies. Okay, it even says uh, so. Yeah, it has a burst system logo. That's a copy of that, and it's you know. So we're gonna see how it works, and we're gonna try them against authentic Beyblades. And did I say I had some bid tin? I got some bid tin, look. Yeah, no, I did not buy these at Toys R Us. I'm just carrying them in this bag. Playmates gave these to me. Many of them are not released yet or gonna be released within weeks, some of them in the spring. Let me get them out and set them up for you to see. Yeah, so here's what I brought back. I got a wild vine. I got an upgrade stink fly with a zip line. Dr. Nemo, uh, 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 overflow, yeah. Uh, a new kind of Omnitrix. And then some new mini Ben 10 figures only for Europe. Uh, what? You complaining? You say, Stu, you got them backwards. Am I evil because I don't want to show them to you? Yes. 
No, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you. All right, I'll show you first. I will show you. This is one of two new Omnitrixes you're gonna see by spring. Okay. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Also, they gave me the because you know when you buy the bin tins, you get this little booklet, right? They gave me a new booklet. This is a booklet for really. I think it's for spring. So. I think my plan for bin tin is I'm going to show you what's, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to do a video to show you what's in the booklet. It's going to show you some new toys, some new, not new characters, new types of characters. And then we'll start in with, we'll start in reviewing the bin tin toys that I've got here. Oh, and I've got the showroom pictures. So I'll probably do that first. I'll do this and then I'll do the showroom pictures from the showroom at Playmates Toys in Hong Kong. And you'll see these new versions of uh, forearms and, and some other guys, diamond head and such. They got new versions. So we'll talk about that. And uh, you want to know the names of the new. Oh, yeah, there's two new Omnitrixes that, that's in this brochure. And I can tell you that uh, the new guy, <clears throat> they're called Omni Enhanced. Uh, Omni Enhanced Diamond Head, Heat Blast, Forearms, and Cannonbolt. So that's four. Not new characters, they're just designs. And so that implies that may, there may be a new Omnitrix by spring or fall. We'll see about that. All right, let's see what else I got. Okay, and to go with my Stormtrooper helmet, I got a Stormtrooper costume. Yeah, I know it's kind of lame. It says, mask, jumpsuit, one size fits all. So it ought to fit me. I'm pretty slender, right? Yeah. I know it, it's cheesy. I mean, I really need to get the full armor, but I don't know how much. I got a, a free calendar, a Chinese calendar. Chinese 2018, what is that the year of? Let me know in the comments if you know. Chinese year of the, it's always year of something. The dragon, the monkey, the mouse, etc. And bags. In Hong Kong, you gotta pay for bags. Plastic bags, 50 cents at least. You know what? Someday bag, you know, someday bags are gonna be rare. And people are gonna look at my, there's gonna be museums of bags. And people are gonna look at my bag. Hey, Stu, that's a great bag. And I'm going to make a bunch of money because they'll want to buy it for me. Like, so see, it's a good investment to save your bags. So hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments that you subscribed, and I will try to give you a shout-out. Let me know in your comments what things you want to see me talk about first. And until next time, have a great day.